What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Fashion Stalker back with another video, back with another sneaker review, back with another banger. Uh, I know you can already tell by the box, man. This is another premium Nike. We got that black box, except this one got a little bit of extra touch to it, like this white strip. Uh, we got some Chinese writing here. Uh, getting straight into the box, man. Getting straight into the box. We got a tannish, you can say, Nike logo there. And we got that clot logo here. So I'm back with you guys with another clot sneaker. This pair is a pair that I've been wanting for years, yo. Like when I say years, years, really long time. I think the first pair came out in 2006 of this shoe. And this is a retro of that shoe. But uh, yeah, man, let me let me get to the shoe. So to start with the, with the sizing, I did get these in the seven and a half. And like I said, it is an Air Max. It's an Air Max one with clot. Uh, kiss of deaths. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about sizing with this shoe because, you know, that was one of the big deals for me. I'm usually at eight in Air Max ones, but I had to get a seven and a half. And even with the seven and a half, I have slight room in them. And that's all based, based upon the material used on this shoe. And okay, we're going to get into all that. But yeah, let's pop these bad boys open and see what we got going on in here. So, we got, hmm, we got some more Chinese writing here. And you know, this shoe is inspired by Chinese acupuncture. And uh, you know, that kind of explains the toe box. From my understanding, these, these shoes were actually made to be worn without socks. But yeah, we, like I said, we're gonna get to all that. But yeah, we have some nice paper, you know. We got the clot logo all over the paper. But yeah, let's get to the shoe. So we got the Nike Air Max One Kiss of Death. Come on, man. Any any real Air Max head for sure has been waiting on these for a very long time. Now the inside of the box, we have those pressure points for your foot. Like I said, man, a lot of dope touches to the box. You know, it's the little things that count. It's the stories that count. Yeah, let's get to that shoe, though. Let's get to that shoe. Let's get to that shoe. Look at those. So, yeah, there is a slight difference compared to the OG pair. If I'm not mistaken, the OG pair, this whole piece back here was orange instead of this burgundy or maroon color. But still looks exactly the same to me. The tan, you know, clear toe box, which is the best touch of this shoe. So let's get to the shoe, man. We got a suede, suede upper. You know, we have some fake snake skin here. Nice touch, maroon. We have a leather tongue, real premium, real premium leather tongue there. And you know, this is something I've never seen on Air Max ones. You know, this type of Nike, Nike branding up here. And then if you flip the tongue, which I've seen Edison Chin do, and if you don't know who Edison Chin is, he's you know like basically over clot. And then we have that clot logo under there in lime green. And like I said, the inside is leather as well. Uh we have some nice, nice designs in the inside. Get a good look there. But then this is what I want to talk about the size. And I'm going to get back to the outside of the shoe, but I want to show you guys this. So if you see how thin that is, because the inside of the liner is all leather, there's no cushion in here. And you know, actually, you may think they might be uncomfortable. They're actually really comfortable. I wore these all day already. So they went well, you know what I'm saying? And then you have some leather here if i'm not mistaken it was ostrich supposed to be i don't think it's real ostrich but yeah like i said we got the suede upper and then we have a you know clear toe box but another difference from the og pair and these the, this toe box actually have holes in it so you can your feet can breathe uh the first pair did not i actually didn't have a really bad time with them fogging. They barely fall. If you get your right size, you, you wouldn't have to worry about them fogging, really. Uh, we have this orange midsole. Pretty nice, pretty nice. 
uh, this is, like I said, the Kiss of Death. This is the first Air Banks one Clot did with Nike. And I, if I'm not mistaken, their first collab shoe as well. But they had three more, two more colorways to drop this year. And uh, yeah, man, they're, they're all dope. They're all dope. That last colorway, I need that. I actually need both. I really want that last colorway, that Solar that recently dropped specially made for Kanye at one point, but that's a, like I said, that's another conversation. You know, we, we get another pair of laces. We got these like maroon colored wax laces. But yeah, man, it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's a lot going on with this shoe, but it's, you know, it's a lot of design into this shoe. You know what I'm saying? Even when we get to the clear toe box, look at that. And it's numbered. So you can match the numbers with with the acupuncture points by number. You know, if you guys can see all that. Let me know if you can see all that. And then we have, and if you look at them closely, you can see the numbers on the bottom of the shoe as well. But yeah, man, these are super dope, man. And also another shoe going for under retail. You know, I don't get it. You know, when these, the OG pair was going for 1K plus, 1500 plus. But you know, the, the sneaker game is totally different now. People don't respect the stuff that actually needs to respect when it comes back out. Uh, this shoe was a huge shoe in the 2000s. You know, people couldn't even get their hands on them, honestly. But yeah, man, your kiss of death, Clot Air Max 1. I will be doing an on foot. And you know, when I see y'all out here, man, I'm gonna need y'all to have y'all sneaker, y'all sock, y'all sock game on 10 when you rocking these. Cause uh, you know, plain white socks, plain black socks, just not gonna do it all the time. You know, I mean, I'm sure you can pull the white pair off, you know, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to pop out something nice, you know, when you rocking them. But I think I'm gonna run around in these a lot and I will be playing the whites. But most of the time, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have my flavor to it. The first time I wore them, I had flavor and I will have some flavor in there when I do the on foot. But yeah, man, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the Clyde Air Max 1 Kiss of Deaths. You know, were you able to cop them when they drop? Do you like them? Do you not like them? I love them, but yeah, man. Let me know in the comments. Peace.